Hello everyone, my name is Shushank. Today we will be discussing about the origin of swings and the key features of swing. Before we start off, uh, I want you guys to know a few keywords that I'll be using throughout this PPT. The first one is AWT, that is Abstract Window Toolkit. The Abstract Window Toolkit is Java's original platform dependent windowing graphics and user interface widget toolkit presiding SWIG. The AWT is a part of Java Foundation classes, the standard API for providing a graphical user interface for Java program. So what this exactly means is uh, you have developed a program and you want to add some graphical interface to it. To add this graphical interface, you, we use AWT. And also it is platform dependent, that is the look and feel varies from one platform to another platform depending on the platform specifications. The next one is SWIG. It is a set of program components for Java programmers that provide the ability to create graphical user interface components such as buttons and scroll bars that are independent of the windowing system for the specific operating system. SWIG components are used with Java Foundation classes. Now SWIG is like an enhanced AWT, that is we can create and add more creative graphical user interface to it. And also more importantly, it is independent of the platform it is running in. Origins of Swing Swing did not exist in the early days of Java. Rather, it was a response to the deficiencies present in Java's original GUI subsystem, that is the abstract window toolkit. The AWT defines a basic set of controls, windows, and dialog boxes that support a usable but limited graphical interface. One reason for the limited nature of AWT is that it translates its various visual components into their corresponding platform equivalent of peers. This means that the look and feel of a component is defined by the platform, not by Java. Because the AWT components use native code resources, they are referred to as heavyweight. So what exactly it means is AWT had a lot of limitations and restrictions and also the look and feel would vary from one platform to another. We could also not use some integrated graphical features. So when we wanted all, uh, to use all these features, we needed some other toolkit and hence Swing was developed. The use of native pairs led to several problems. First, because of variations between operating systems, a component might look or even act differently on different platforms. This potential variability threatened the overarching philosophy of Java, write once, run anywhere. Hence, this AWT feature also uh, was against the philosophy of Java that was write once, run anywhere. Hence, they needed a new toolkit. Second, the look and feel of each component was fixed because it is defined by the platform and would not be easily changed. That is, once you design a certain style of graphics it wouldn't be changed again it was same on all platform but the way it looks and feel would differ from platform to platform third the use of heavyweight components caused some frustrating restrictions for example a heavyweight component is always rectangular and opaque uh, it just means that it wasn't the graphics wasn't much clearer not long after Java's original release, it became apparent that the limitations and restrictions present in the AWT were sufficiently serious that a better approach was needed. The solution was Swing, hence finally Swing was developed. Swing was included as a part of Java Foundation classes. Swing was initially available for use with Java as a separate library. However, beginning with Java, Swing was fully integrated into Java. Uh, it means that when Swing was developed, initially it was like a separate library which should add as an uh, add-on, but later on it was fully integrated into Java. One important note that we need to keep in mind is, Swing eliminates a number of limitations in it in AWT, but Swing does not replace it. Instead, Swing is a built on the foundation of AWT. This is why the AWT is still a crucial part of Java. Swing also uses the same event handling mechanism as the AWT. Therefore, a basic understanding of AWT and of event handling is required to use Swing. In simple words, we can say that uh, AWT wasn't replaced by Swing. It's like, uh, uh, consider a building. The foundation is AWT and the structure is Swing. Now we'll discuss about the two key features of Swing. 
Swing was created to address the limitations present in AWT. It does this through two key features, that is lightweight component and the second one is pluggable look and feel. Together, they provide an elegant yet easy to use solutions to the problems of AWT. More than anything else, it is these two features that define the essence of Swing. Now we'll discuss about those two key uh, features. The first one is Swing components are lightweight. That is, with very few expectations, Swing components are lightweight. This means that they are written entirely in Java and do not map directly to platform specific peers. Because lightweight components are rendered using graphic primitives, they can transparent, which enables non-rectangular shapes. Thus, lightweight components are more efficient and more flexible. Furthermore, because lightweight components do not translate into native peers, the look and feel of each component will work in a consistent manner across all platforms. So what it means is, Swing uses a very good graphic interface that is, uh, it, helps, uh, it helps like adding new uh, features of graphics, more clear and crisp, abstract graphics, and also the transparency make it uh, look more smooth and clean. Also, as it is platform independent, the graphics works the same on all platforms. The second feature is, uh, it supports pluggable look and feel. Swing supports a pluggable look and feel because each Swing component is rendered by Java code rather than by native peers. The look and feel of a component is under the control of Swing. This fact means that it is possible to separate the look and feel of a component from the logic of the component and this is what Swing does. Separating out the look and feel provides a significant advantage. It becomes possible to change the way that a component is rendered without affecting any of its other aspects. In other words, it is possible to plug in a new look and feel for uh, any given component without creating any side effects in the code that uses that component. Moreover, it becomes possible to define entire sets of look and feels that represent different GUI styles. To use a specific style, its look and feel is simply plugged in. Once this is done, all components are automatically rendered using that style. So what exactly is this plug pluggable look and feel is? It, uh, it's just like an, uh, if you want to watch a movie, we just plug in our USB drive and watch the movie. Or if you want to make some changes in your PPT, you just plug in a USB and change uh, the PPT, whatever is present in that. The same way, yeah, what we are doing is, uh, now we, we, I have developed a program and I have added some graphical components to it. But now I want to change the graphic style. So what I need to do is just, I need to uh, have the, you know, if I have it in a, my CD drive or my pen drive, I just plug it in and use that graphic interface. Uh, and this the only changes the graphical interface without affecting the program or it's working. So it's just like uh, on one platform you want to have one style of graphic and on another platform you want to have another style of graphic. It, this can be easily done by just changing the graphical feel or uh, by just plugging in the new graphical uh, interface. The pluggable look and feel offers several important advantages. It is possible to define a look and feel that is consistent across all platforms. Conversely, it is possible to create a look and feel that acts like a specific platform. For example, if you know that an application will be running only in Windows environment, it is possible to specify the Windows look and feel. It is also possible to design a custom look and feel. Finally, the look and feel can be changed dynami dynamically at runtime. As I said, uh, it is platform independent. So at one platform, you can make it look in one style and on another platform, another style. Also, you can design your own graphic style and add on to it. And by adding on, it doesn't affect any aspects of the program and the code runs uh, without any errors. So that's the wrap. I guess you gained some knowledge about Swing, why it was developed, why it was needed, and why AWT was just not enough. And also, the main key features of Swing, uh, I have been discussed about it. So I guess you guys would have gained some knowledge about Swing. Thank you, everyone.